Melania Trump stepped into the spotlight, making a pledge from the White House Rose Garden to help children as First Lady. There is one goal to be best, and that is to educate children about the many issues they are facing today. She's calling it the Be Best campaign and is focusing on three topics, childhood well-being, social media use, and the opioid epidemic. Let us teach our children the difference between right and wrong. The First Lady is ruling out her initiative later than most of her predecessors unveiled their own platforms, 16 months after President Trump took the oath of office. Children can be less prepared to express or manage their emotions and oftentimes turn to forms of destructive or addictive behavior such as bullying, drug addiction, or even suicide. Modern First Ladies often push social reform. Michelle Obama famously launched the Let's Move campaign to fight childhood obesity. And before that, Laura Bush advocated for historic education reform. Hillary Clinton broke tradition and attempted to move into a policy role in the West Wing. Nancy Reagan is known for her Just Say No campaign, which helped keep kids away from drugs. Barbara Bush, who recently passed away, made literacy her own platform. Lady Bird Johnson is known for beautification, which helped clean up parks and national highways. Andrew Oak, an author of a book that covers every First Lady from Martha Washington to Melania, says modern First Ladies often don't have a single cause. So, so they adapt and, and change with the times as see fit, um, and, and it, it does sometimes mirror their husband's administration. These are the most powerful and influential unelected and unpaid women. So they, they they take on this role because of the privilege of this platform. Now that the First Lady's role is established, it is expected she will be more of a public force during her remaining years at the White House. In Washington, Margaret Chadbourne, New York One.